During the pandemic, the demand for puppies has skyrocketed. And while adoption is often best, there are many people who also want to work with a breeder for a variety of reasons. Right now, reputable bre breeders have a two-year wait list or have stopped accepting applications. Costs have skyrocketed and shelters have limited numbers. And that's all creating room for non-legitimate puppy sellers and puppy mills to draw in unsuspecting buyers. So joining us now for more on what to look for when buying your puppy is Camille Labchuk, Executive Director at Animal Justice. Good morning, Camille. Thank you for being here. Great to be here, Ben. So puppy mills, I think a lot of people would be surprised, technically not illegal in Canada, unless the dogs are seen to be living in the absolute worst of conditions. Now, since wait lists for puppies are so long, many people are using ad sites to find a puppy unaware that they could be contacting a puppy mill breeder. How do you know if you're buying a puppy from a puppy mill? Well, it's a huge problem, Ben, and I think people just assume, well, of course, dog breeding would be regulated. Somebody's watching out for these puppies and making sure that puppy mills aren't a thing, but unfortunately, that's not always the case. So what we're seeing is people turning to places like Kijiji and Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to look for dogs. And unfortunately, in those cases, they're very often from puppy mills, which produce mass amounts of dogs. They keep mother dogs constantly pregnant. Um, oftentimes, the conditions are appalling. And in many cases, those dogs are even shipped in from other countries, especially Eastern Europe. Uh, probably some of your viewers remember the summer there was a shipment of dogs from Ukraine. Uh, 500 dogs on a plane at Pearson, and dozens of them actually died in transit. So that's the danger of going to places like Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, any online website. There's a serious danger that it's a puppy mill. And if you don't get your puppy from a reputable breeder, is there more of a risk that your puppy could have health or behavioral issues? Well, I always say to people that the best route, the absolute best route is to adopt from a shelter or a rescue. I know that it can be a little bit more challenging right now because there's such high demand for people opening their homes to puppies and loving dogs. Uh, but you can get on a list and eventually they will match you with the right dog for you. So we think that's the best route. But yes, there's definitely a risk that, um, you know, purchasing a dog online could end up supporting, unfortunately, um, you know, one of those puppy mills that I don't think anyone wants to support. I get emails through my organization all the time. I'm an animal rights lawyer, and so people often reach out for help. Um, they've found an ad online, they show up, and they see the conditions, and the conditions are troubling, and then they simply want to get that dog out of there to rescue them. So they end up purchasing that puppy, but of course that perpetuates and gives money to these breeders to keep doing their thing. Okay, so, so you just brought up a really good scenario. If somebody comes across a suspicious ad or a breeder that might not have good intentions, what should they do? You know, the best thing to do is walk away and not give your money to them because that funding helps them continue on with their business and breed more dogs. Uh, if you're concerned about the conditions when you attend a location and you see puppies, the best thing to do is contact the authorities. And that depends, you know, based on your province who you're gonna contact, but you can look that up online. And, uh, you know, you really just don't want to support that business and give them your money so they can continue doing um, that type of business model. And, and what should people be looking out for? What are some of the telltale signs uh, that, that somebody is, is operating a puppy mill? Well, first of all, it's never a good idea to purchase a dog that's advertised on the internet. That's a telltale sign right there. Um, same thing with purchasing a dog through a pet store. Many cities have actually banned uh, sales of puppies and cats in pet stores because they are concerned about puppy mill um, dogs going into those locations. So that's why they promote um, adopting through rescues instead. But, uh, you know, first of all, don't go online. Second of all, if the person selling the dog does not have a website, that's a big red flag right there. Huge red flag. Um, if you show up to a location and they say, oh, we, you know, we're not going to you know, give you a tour, you can't look around, that's another red flag. Um, it's important if you are going to buy a dog to uh, you know, ask if you can see the dog's mother. So breeders who are not puppy mill breeders will keep the dogs with their mothers until they sell them to you. And if you're not able to see the mother, that's a good sign that they might be producing in a puppy mill environment or maybe they've imported those dogs from another country with even worse conditions. Hey, Camille, thank you so much. A really great tips and a really important subject. We appreciate your time. Great to be here. Thanks, Ben. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.